Hey guys, I am Jason and I want to welcome you guys back to my channel. So I was going through um, some old notes, some old notebooks, and it looks like I started in the astrophotography hobby back in 2012. One of the first objects that I attempted to image was M104, known as the Sombrero Galaxy. Um, so it's around the same time now and the Sombrero Galaxy is actually rising and will be up uh, all night long. The weather here in Arizona, I've got clear skies forecast. Um, it's going to be a little windy, but I think I'll be able to deal with the wind um, with the observatory here. Um, we'll be able to shield the wind with the dome. Um, we're going to have to deal with a little bit of uh, moonlight. I think the moon is supposed to be right around 75 to 80 uh, percent illuminated. Um, but, uh, like I said, I haven't shot the Sombrero Galaxy since 2012, and I think I want to go ahead and give it another shot. So, let's go ahead and get the uh, telescope here uh, turned on and set up, and let's go imaging the Sombrero Galaxy. What? You guys are still here? Okay, well, I guess uh, let's uh, go ahead and talk about the uh, Sombrero Galaxy um, a little bit. Like I said, um, back in 2012, when I started in the astrophotography uh, hobby, um, one of the first uh, objects that I went to image was the Sombrero Galaxy. Um, I imaged it First of all, here's a image of what I captured back in 2012. So back in 2012, um, when I imaged the Sombrero Galaxy, I used my Orion 8-inch reflector. Um, the 8-inch reflector had a focal length of 1,000 millimeters, and the camera that I used was an Orion Starshoot Deep Space Color Camera Version 2, I think. That camera had an APS-C uh, size sensor, and it was a CCD camera, not a CMOS camera. The Sabrero Galaxy is in the south, near the cluster of galaxies known as the Virgo Supercluster. It is 29.3 million light years from Earth. The Sombrero Galaxy is a near edge on galaxy and it has a 25,000 light year radius. So from one end to the other it would take 25,000 light years from you to get for you to get from one end to the other. That is just just crazy. I think they say that the Sombrero Galaxy has over a hundred billion that's right, billion stars in it. Um, another interesting fact um, on the Sombrero Galaxy is that it is a lenticular galaxy. So what does that mean? Um, that means that it is in between an elliptical galaxy and a spiral galaxy. So it has characteristics of both of those galaxy types. So tonight, um, the gear that I'm going to be using is going to be a little more, uh, a little more advanced, a little more updated than the uh, uh, equipment that I used 12, 12 years ago, it looks like, sounds like, 12, 12 years ago. So the gear that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my 8-inch uh, Ritchie Creighton um, telescope. Now this telescope natively has a focal length of 1600 millimeters. Um, but I am going to be using an astrophysics reducer, which will bring the focal length down 
to 1152 millimeters and it'll speed the scope up by increasing the focal ratio or dropping the focal ratio down to about 5.76 I believe. I'll put it up here if I have it incorrect. Um, the camera that I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be using my uh, ZWO294 uh, monochrome camera. So back in 2012, I shot it with an APS-C sensor and I shot it at 1,000 millimeters. Tonight, we're going to be shooting it at 1,152 millimeters, but we're going to be using a uh, micro four-thirds uh, sensor. So hopefully that little bit of increased focal length and that uh, little smaller um, sensor of the 294 is going to get me a little bit closer and narrow in my field of view. Um, I will be running with a ZWO EAF. Um, I am going to be running with my um, guide scope. We'll be the same 400 millimeter uh, Orion guide scope, but I will have a 120 mm mini um, guide camera. I will be using uh, my um, LRGB filters that are in here. Um, they are Optolong LRGB filters. It'll all be sitting on top of my Atlas uh, mount. And I'm hoping to capture uh, around an hour of luminance, an hour of red, an hour of green, and an hour of blue. So with that, I think we've covered everything. Um, so let's wait for the sun to go down, the stars to come out, and let's start imaging. So let me uh, go back in and double check my sequencer. It looks like I can probably start right about now. So let's just make sure we've got all of our uh, lights correctly set. We've got 32 minutes for luminance. Green, blue, and red. Bending is 2 by 2 Gain is 120. Offset is 10 because I'm using the 294 uh, mm Pro. Everything else looks good. Duration is going to be four hours. So I think I looked in clear outside and it looks like the moon rises at 1125. So we're going to get a little bit of moon, um, but hopefully it'll be far enough away that it's not going to bother our, um, our lights too much. So let's go ahead and start the sequence. So we're going to let this run and um, I guess uh, we'll get back to it once everything is done and over with. Um, hopefully we'll have a new image of the Sombrero Galaxy that we can compare against the image that we took back in 2012.
All right, guys. Um, well, before I let you guys go, and before I show you the image of M104 that I was able to capture over the last two nights, um, I just wanted to take this moment to thank you guys for all that you do for my channel. Um, I appreciate the comments, the likes, um, and the subscriptions um, as well. Um, if you are a new viewer, and you do feel so inclined um, to subscribe to my channel, um, please do. And um, don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell. Um, that way when new content comes out, you'll be one of the first to, um, to see that content. Uh, also, don't forget that I do have a couple affiliate links. Um, I will put those down in the description uh, below. Uh, affiliate links are to High Point Scientific and Agena Astro. They are two very good um, astro uh, type um, companies, telescopes, mounts, uh, cameras, all sorts of things, little gadgets here and there. Um, every little bit that you guys uh, do with those affiliate links, believe it or not, does actually help my channel out immensely. So. Um, for those that do use those affiliate links, um, I thank you guys very, very much. Um, with that, I will leave you with the image that I took back in 2012, which was a two hour and 30 minute image um, with the one shot color uh, Orion uh, CCD camera. And I will leave you with the new image that I took here um, the end of April, uh, early May uh, of 2024, with the 294 monochrome camera. Uh, the time on that was right at seven hours. Um, I got two nights on the target, so that uh, helped out. So I hope you enjoy the um, images. And um, again, I just want to say Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to um, hit the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. All that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Clear skies.